What's up, everybody? Sunny Vega on location at the hospital. Yeah, go figure that one out, right? Live on location since Tuesday morning I've been at this place. And let me tell you, the healthcare system in Canada is not all that it's cracked up to be. That's for sure. You got your good nurses and your bad nurses. I can't talk too loud because I'm still under their care. It's been a rough week. They've been cutting me open everywhere. Look at this. I got poked holes everywhere. What's up, O'Connell? McGinnis? Yeah, they got me on some strong meds. There's morphine, and then there's this other stuff. I forget what it's called. Never even heard of it. Diadurin, diadurkin, diadrankin. I don't know what it's called. But it's a strong drug. Stronger than morphine. What's up, Taylor? Yeah, so I've been here since Tuesday morning. Extreme pain. We're going to get to that in a little bit. Yeah, I'm still alive. I'll tell you what, I'm not here because they're taking my tonsils out, that's for sure. You don't end up in the hospital for a week because of your tonsils. Nuxukwao. What up? Nuxukwao. Some sports to get into. With Wimbledon going on today. There's a soccer match today, and there's one tomorrow, apparently, as well. Where are we at here? Belgium wins convincingly 2-zip. They really look good. 2-0 they win today. It's going to be interesting to watch tomorrow's game and to see really who is the best team, who was the best team. Uh, what do we got tomorrow, as far as the Lions go? To lift the trophy. Thanks, MA519. Appreciate it. And I appreciate all the good wishes. From everyone, you know who you are, Sean O'Donnell, especially Gam Lou, Gabe Marenzi, Cam Stewart, Taylor Stevens, everyone out there. Too many to name right now, but I won't forget. Um, so where are we at here? Yeah. In the MLB, Washington manager's David Martinez. He plans to speak to Harper. He plans to speak to him on his half-ass jog to first base on a ground-out ball. Ended up being a double play. He planned... I'm not even talking about the issue of whether he should be running hard to first base on a, you know, known out, right? I'm not even speaking on that. Or should he run hard or should he jog? I'm not even talking about that right now. I'm talking about the fact that the manager plans to speak to him. What do you mean you plan to speak to him? You have to talk to his agent to speak to him? Grab him by his beard, throw him, sit him in a chair... Right? And speak to him. You got a plan to speak to him? You got to set up an appointment to speak to this guy? I don't know what your guys' thoughts are there. Do you jog it out or do you sprint hard? I saw the play. It was bad. Even the commentator goes, that, that's, that's the kind of effort you're getting from this kind of superstar? It's unacceptable. It did look bad. I think you should sh show some effort. At the end of the day, the fans are paying your salary. It's a business. You know what? At least fake it, Harper. At least fake it. Show a little bit of grunt. You know what I mean? Ended up, to, uh, ended up being a 4-2 loss to the Mets that day. I think it was yesterday. Um, in Ram Wimbledon. Kerber, the German. She beats out Williams today. Serena. In straight sets, 6-3, 6-3. The storybook ending for Williams did not happen. Kerber has a nice story too, but uh, a very mutual respect amongst the two of them. A very evening to Nelly. How was the concert last night, dude? This guy went to a Stevie B concert and a Lil Susie concert. I would have loved to have been there if I known about it. Well, if I wasn't hospitalized, right? I don't know when I'm getting out, to be honest with you. But I got a lot of amenities. The Wi-Fi is great here. I got a TV here. Let me see if I can show you that. Flip, yeah. Not bad. That's exceptional. I've been catching up on The Office. Great show. My roommate, my neighbor from Jamaica, Basil, he's good fun. He's a good dude. 
eat the lime jello. No, yeah, I did eat lime jello, but it's different than key lime pie. That's what put me on. In my latest video, the key lime pie, that's what put, put me over the edge. What's going on with me, I really don't know. I'm going to get into that in a little bit. But back to this Wimbledon story. They have a lot of uh, respect amongst each other. Kerber, Kluber, Kerber, the German girl that won today uh, versus Serena Williams. Uh, Serena has a lot of respect for her, she said, after the match. Very good, trained player. She played a perfect game. As far as Kerber goes, uh, she went on to say that she's a big inspiration to everybody watching. Like, to the fact that she just gave birth to a kid 10 months ago. 10 months ago. I'm stuck in a hospital bed for a week because I don't know what. And it ain't my tonsils, that's for sure, right? She just gave birth 10 months ago. Problems during delivery, and then she was dealing with blood clots. The Jamaican's rubbing off on me, my roommate. <laughs> and she dealt, with, <laughs> she, she dealt with blood clots in her chest, right? And here she is in the finals at Wimbledon, 10 months after the fact. Unbelievable. Yeah, women are strong like that. Like one guy said to me, you got to respect women, they're scary. Any animal that can bleed once a month and still survive, that's scary. I'm just saying. I gotta watch out what I say about the nurses. This one nurse today, I fucking swear to God. The nurse last night, that awesome. The nurse today, I fucking swear to God. She left me hanging. She went plugging my, inter my, my IV, my intravenous, because she told me she was going on break. I said, what are you talking about, you're going on break? I said, it takes five minutes. It doesn't even take five minutes. And I brought this thing, and this is my friend. This guy has become my best friend. I got to go everywhere with him. Get tangled and wires everywhere. I even brought it to her. I said, just plug me back in. I got to go on break. Really? I asked her to check up on something. Sure enough, that something got messed up. See, it was over here before. It got messed up. They had to find another vein. That's like the... That's like the fifth time that they've poked me. They can't find a good vein. A lot of these nurses are under, they're, they're overworked, no doubt. But there's nurses here that you're afraid to approach. Fuck that shit. Not no more. Not no more. No, I'm approaching them. Watch. I got this thing. Anytime I want something, beep, beep. I don't care. I'll keep beeping it. I don't give a shit. Watch, I'm going to beep it. I'm going to ask for ice cream. They're going to bring it. Yeah, go home. Go home. Bitch. She put me through fucking hell today. In Wimbledon, like you just saw on my little... ...earlier today. Epic match. Epic match. Five sets over Federer. Sorry. Over Rafi. Yeah, yeah. Epic match. This match was... Uh, this match happened Friday night. It got canceled or it got delayed to t t till, uh, today. Why? Because um, they have an 11 o'clock curfew. An 11 p.m. neighborhood curfew in Wimbledon. Really? Now, if that was in some of the neighborhoods I used to live in, I understand an 11 p.m. curfew. But So they had to suspend the, the match because of that. They continued it today. And this was a marathon. Joko ends up on top. He's going to play the South African tomorrow for the champions. Joko looks like he's back in business. He's back on top of his game. What else are we at here? Spoke about Belgium 2-0. I got in late on that game. I bet uh, next goal, Belgium, when it was 1-zip, one 1-0. One so I cashed in on that one. I got a few NBA parlays right now, and I'm looking. I picked up on uh, Gabe's advice, both teams to score with the, in the Montreal Impact game. I don't even know who they're playing, but I had a feel for it. I liked it, so I jumped on that one. As far as tomorrow's game goes, so there's the Wimbledon final tomorrow. Joko against the South African. His name, Kevin Anderson. Kevin Anderson plus 400. Joko, the Serb. Minus 550. Nah. 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 No value there. To tomorrow's game. France, Croatia. 
for the beautiful trophy, the World Cup, one of my favorite trophies, my favorite trophy, the one and only. To lift trophy, France minus 250, Croatia plus 200 currently. Interesting. Tay Stevens is on Hrvatska. All right, Tay. I don't know, really. I looked it up. I looked it up. France are big allies with Russians. The Russians were allies. They still are. Uh, but there's a bit of a, a mix-up in that relationship there. Something to note. If you're looking at the politics aspect of it, the game is being played in Russia, if you didn't know, if you're living under a rock. And my name is Sonny Vega, in case you didn't know, in case you're living under a rock. Live, on location, from the hospital bed that I've been living at in the last week. I gotta get my pain meds soon. So France minus 250 to lift the trophy, Croatia plus 200. Both teams to score plus 125. I'm liking this a lot. This is what I'm gonna be on. I think this is going to be a really good game. Belgium gets it done 2-0. Like I said, that is their best their best appearance in a World Cup ever. They played really well. I was very impressed with them. I didn't get to see them play a lot in the beginning of the tournament. The last two matches, though, wow. Really impressive. Some good things going on for them. Yeah, so that's about it as far as, uh, as, far as sports goes. Look. Look, I told her 15 minutes ago to come and hook me up, right? She's got to hook me up to this. Right? I brought the machine to her yet again. Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, I'll be there. She's supposed to hook this up. Fucking hook it up. You know how many times I have to ask her for stuff? And then I see her wandering the fucking hall staring at the floor. I swear to God. I'm like, hey, hey. Where are my pain meds? Like, I'm behind a dose of pain meds because of her. I should be on my, like, fourth application. So when this thing, when this thing bends or something, and the IV doesn't go through properly, this fucking thing starts beeping. You can't get no sleep. In the middle of the night, last night, this guy saved me. He took it out of this arm, look at this fucking arm, and he put it over here. And I asked her all day to fix it, see, check it out. Sure enough, it fell apart over here. She couldn't redo it. And so next girl comes, and she puts it over here, enough so I can get my pain meds. It's a mess. It's a mess, dude. So I've been walking around with this thing everywhere. Everywhere I freaking go. It's my best friend. Jesus. Joke. Yeah. Definitely not. Mm. The best bet is don't get sick. Really and truly. First thing they ask you, do you smoke? Uh, right away, they treat you a little different, it seems like to me. Yeah, I'm definitely not here for a for a checkup. That's for freaking sure. The emergency room was a fucking nightmare. I'm supposed to get an MRI on Monday. I've gotten so many fucking tests, I feel like I'm an athlete or something. I'm getting that uh, cystoscopy. Cystoscopy, whatever it's called. I actually looked it up. I googled tube and dick procedure. That's what I that's what I call it. Tube and dick procedure. I googled it, and that's what you'll come up with. Cyst cystoscopy. Cyst Look it up. Google it. Dick in the tube in the dick procedure. You know what I mean. I haven't eaten nothing since uh, yesterday. I think I had Jello for the first time. And then uh, I they gave me a little bit of ice cream, which I enjoyed, I'm not going to lie, and some soup. There's a Tim Hortons nearby. <laughs> Forget that place. It's a fucking disaster. What happened to that place? Well, yeah, it was a bloodbath earlier over here with these people. Watch, I'm going to call him. I'm going to ask for ice cream. Watch. Hi there. Uh, can I get my uh, pain meds, please? Sure thing. Just give your nurse a second. Thank okay, thank you. Yeah, just give the nurse a second. Yeah, how many fucking seconds am I supposed to give her? Fuck. Actually, she probably left. I want to change shirts earlier. This is another example. I want to change shirts because this one got sweaty. Well, not this one, the other one. So I brought my shirt because I don't want to bother her. You know what I mean? I brought the machine, I brought my friend Johnny, whatever you want to call him, and with an extra shirt. 
So she undid me. She walked away. I put on my shirt in the hallway, took off my shirt, put on my shirt. She's gone. She's gone. It's ridiculous. I had something else on my mind I wanted to say. Whatever. What? Who's on the line? I don't fucking know. Anyways, I had something else on my mind. I don't know what. Whatever. I'll tweet it out. Thanks for joining me. Don't smoke. Don't drink. Don't do drugs. Stay out of a hospital. Don't break your leg. Look what they're going to do to me Monday. They're going to put a tube in my dick procedure. They put a tube in your pee hole. I've had this done about a couple, about a decade ago or something. The ICU nurse, that button is like, oh, I can imagine. And I feel bad, Pix machine. I feel bad. I feel bad. And that's why I go out and I don't want to bother them. But pff, I'm in extreme pain over here. She knows what time she has to give me my meds. There's been a couple of good nurses, but there's been a couple of terrible nurses. They make it hard for you to even approach. You know what I mean? Like, I had my own jello. I put it, I, I asked them to put it in the fridge, no problem. Today I had some more jello. I asked them to put it in the fridge. Shit. Look at this. Fucking blood everywhere. It's a fucking bloodbath. I wish it was stones. I don't know what it is, dude. Main 450. I don't know what it is. I asked them to put the jello in the fridge today. She goes, oh, we don't do that. Like, motherfucker, you don't do that. You did it for me yesterday. Don't fucking do that. I told her straight. Get the fuck out of here, man. No, the healthcare system in Canada sucks, dude. If you have money in the U.S., psh, they would have treated me, done this, that. They would have said, okay, buddy, you have fucking a week to live. Or they would have said, buddy, you're good to go. Get the fuck out of here. You're healthy as a horse. But here, forget about it. Because it's free. They think it's good. It's not. You get what you pay for, like I always said, right? My name is Sonny Vega. Time for my pain meds. Maybe some jello and some ice cream. Thanks you all for tuning in and for all the best wishes. You know who you are. I'll never forget. See you later. See you later. See you later.